Hey all, welcome back to Fire and Water Cooking. I'm Darren, of course. Today, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna show off a product here I just got from Inkbird. It's the NOINT11PB. That's a pretty long name, but what it is, it's, uh, if you're familiar with the meter, the meat stick, combustion ink, and all those other um, wireless, completely wireless uh, thermometers, that's what this is. It's taking them, taking them a while to come out with one. And I'm hoping that they did it right. Um, it looks pretty cool so far. It's got a little case here that the top just kind of slides back. This is the charging case. And it's got one probe here that does ambient and internal temp. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and try this out today. I'm going to do it on a rotisserie chicken using the Monument Grill with the rotisserie and a big old Costco chicken. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how the app works on this. Of course, this is, you know, it's got an app, but um, check it out. I'll be right back with the Inkbird wireless thermometer. I'll be back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling. From fire and water. All right, guys, I'll get a little bit closer here so you can see it. So, pretty much just did the unboxing, guys. It just comes in a nice little box here. Underneath, you got your um, instructions and a book, and you got your USB C charging, USB to USB C charging cable like I said this is your charging box so it's pretty cool it's um, pretty solid it's got a magnetic base here so it won't move around but the top just slides out to charge it you just plug in the USB-C in the back to a USB uh, adapter somewhere and it doesn't take long at all to charge it I've charged this already but like I said, I like the cool little case and um, I know that it's magnetic, it's not going to move around, but you know, so far, like I said, it charged up just fine for me. I haven't used it yet. I did get the app installed and it does work just fine. I'm going to go ahead now and show you just how the app works and it's pretty easy actually. It hooked up pretty easy, probably one of the easiest. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth uh, thermometers that I've hooked up, but I'll show you that in the app right now, and I'll be back when we're cooking a chicken. I have to say, guys, it's one of the easiest uh, apps I've ever used with one of these wireless thermometers. So, you pretty much download the Inkbird app and add the device. There's so many devices on here. Pick the one you want, which is the wireless uh, thermometer, and it pops right up. It's really super simple. All right, we'll go into the app a little bit more when we get cooking. I'll be back. All right, guys. <clears throat> like I said, we're going to go ahead and put this on the rotisserie today. I've already got this pre-seasoned with my fire and water cooking black garlic and herb compound butter. I love this on chicken, any kind of poultry. It's uh, awesome, guys. So, seafood, poultry. Even on steak, it works great. So we're going to take the uh, Inkbird wireless thermometer here. I, I'm not going to call it by what the name they have because it's just a bunch of letters and numbers doesn't mean anything to me. So if I just call it the Inkbird wireless thermometer, that's what we're going to call it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right in the deepest part of the breast. Now there is a little notch here at the end to tell you where to go to, so it's just shy of this black uh, knob here at the end. So we're going to put it in there. Of course your ambient temperature is going to be reading from here. And I like that on a rotisserie because it's really hard to figure out what the temperature is right there on the rotisserie because if you're using a thermometer with that measures the uh, grate level it's not really the same if you're using one that's inside of the uh, lid or the dome it's not really the same as where the what the uh, cooking temperature is right there at the rotisserie so pretty uh, important to have that 
measurement right there at the uh, where it's cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and get this on the rotisserie like I said. Alright, I think I got this set up on the rotisserie. I'm going to go ahead and get it set up on the grill and do some last minute seasoning fixing here. Alright, I'll see you guys over at the uh, Monument Grill. Alright guys, so the way I'm going to set this up for now is I got these two outside burners um, on pretty much high, um, almost medium or heavy medium high. And I'm not going to turn these center ones on until I get closer to my internal temp that I want and I'll crisp the skin. As you can see, I've got it on there. It's turning pretty good. I've got the Inkbird wireless thermometer right here in the deepest part of the breast there. And we're gonna go ahead and just keep it that way. It's gonna pick up a lot of that ambient heat coming from here. So that's gonna give us an idea of just how much heat is hitting that bird. And if we have to make some adjustments down the road, we'll be able to. All right, well, let's get this thing cooking and I'll be back in a few. As you can see guys, it's got a nice basic uh, app here. Uh, you can pick the type of meat, you can adjust your internal target that you're looking for, internal temperature, and change it from Celsius to, to Fahrenheit. Uh, one of the things I noticed was there is no way to set a alarm for an ambient temperature. Uh, and one of the things you, you're going to want to make sure is that you, you don't, uh, you're cooking temperature doesn't overshoot so that you don't burn your food but everything else works perfect I'll be back all right guys so as you can tell it's got a nice little chart down there at the bottom and like I said I wish it had an alarm for the uh, ambient temperature because I was chasing that a little bit as you can tell even though it's a gas grill it can get a little bit out of hand here so um, I wanted to stay around 375 but if I had that alarm, it would help me out. <clears throat> if you can tell here, uh, I did set the alarm so that it would go off about 10 degrees before it got to my target temperature of 162, which was pretty convenient because then I can just make sure it doesn't overcook. All right, guys, it's getting close to the end here. So I cranked up those middle burners and we're gonna crisp up that skin. You hear the alarm going off, so I got to set it to where it would, the alarm would go off about 10 degrees before it hit the internal temperature that I selected, which was 162. So that worked. All right, I'll be back in just a couple minutes when we're getting this off. All right, guys, there you go. The finished product. And I can say the ink bird worked really good. The only thing I don't like about it is I could not find a place to set an alarm for the ambient temperature to tell me if the grill was getting too hot. I could monitor it, but there's no alarm for that. There is an alarm for the doneness, for when you want it to go off. Um, you know, like I said, you could set it, you know, for a, you know, 10 degrees or so lower than your target temp, and it will set an alarm. It'll ring both on your phone and on the charger station. So that's a good good thing so one thing I might mention to Inkbird is to make sure they add a uh, ambient temperature alarm on there because when you're using a grill or smoker um, you can adjust that and as you see in the chart that I had on this that uh, gas grill even though you know you can do minute little adjustments sometimes it takes a couple uh, times to get that to right where you want that temperature so there you have it guys chicken turned out great um, it's got cooked all the way through the uh, breast meat here I'm gonna take a bite mm -mm -mm. nice and juicy there you have it Ooh. It turned out right at about 163 is where it's at and that's perfect not overcooked nice and juicy mm. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook. Check out the Inkbird Wireless Meat Thermometer. That's what I'm going to call it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one, guys.